Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. In this video, we will take a quick look at how you can turn off background apps in Windows 11. Now, when you turn off a background app, it can help improve your overall system performance. It can save resources by freeing up system memory and to some extent, speed up your Windows 11 device. Now, just because you don't see an app running on your desktop doesn't mean it's not running in the background. And a lot of the apps that come bundled in Windows 10 and 11 are set to run by default in the background. And when an app runs in the background, it uses extra processes which take up extra system resources and then can decrease your overall system performance. Now, in Windows 10, and I've just taken a screenshot of my background apps on my Windows 10 device. In Windows 10, to get to your background apps, you have to go to your settings menu, then your privacy menu and then you scroll down to when you see background apps and that will take you to the list of apps that you can enable or disable um, in windows 10 and i actually have posted a video on this quite some time back it is actually one of my first videos and um, which will show you um, and take you through the process of um, turning background apps on or on or off in windows 10 and i will leave a link down below to that video if you are interested now in windows 11 there are a couple of ways you can uh, turn off uh, background apps and I found the uh, simplest and easiest way to do this which I've used myself on this machine is just to go to your settings menu apps apps and features and yeah you will see a list of all the apps that have that are installed on your Windows 11 operating system and as an example if I just go to calculator and we click on the three dotted menu then on advanced options you will see your background apps permissions. Let this app run in the background. And now you will see you have three options. Let it run always, power optimized, recommended, and never. Now, I personally don't see why I need my calculator to be running in the background at all times. So I've set that to never. Now, as another example, if we just scroll down to, say, Microsoft Edge, we go to the same menu, you will see there is no um, advanced options so that means if there is an app with no advanced options you will not be able to disable and turn that app off from running in the background and then the final example I just want to show you is if we go to say to Microsoft Store advanced options now I've left it this at the default setting recommended power optimized because I uh, to some extent want this to be running in the background to update my apps automatically for me um, in the background in the Microsoft Store. Now obviously everybody's uh, computing needs are different so you will just need to experiment a little bit um, to you know find out a nice balance to, to the apps that you can turn off or want to leave enabled to run at all times and as an example don't turn off an app uh, from running in the background if you would be using that and as an example say your phone if you are using the, uh, the your phone app with your mobile phone then I wouldn't suggest turning the uh, your phone app setting that to never run in the background but just experiment and you will find that if you do um, uh, turn off a lot of the apps that you you know don't need to be running in the background at all times it will help improve your overall you know PC performance save memory and then to some extent um, speed up your Windows 11 device so I hope you found this video useful once again thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one